So Games Workshop have done a little bit of a massive whoopsie. It seems like some rogue factory worker has sent out the wrong miniature to the wrong person. And it's a pretty big miniature to mess up too. Because someone in the Bloody Angels Facebook community group have received the new version of Commander Dante for the Blood Angels. Yep. That's him, all right. That's an entirely new miniature for the Blood Angels for Warhammer. It has not been announced. We have barely seen any hints of this whatsoever. And yet someone has received them and he has been painted and now we can see pictures of him and the packaging. It's a good thing it wasn't sent to somebody who paints like I do. Now the person who got this, I don't know their name, but they said this. Evening everyone, so here's something I'm sure you're all going to love. Recently, Games Workshop seemed to have made a mistake in their warehouse when sending my order out as they accidentally sent me an official rumor confirmed. Commander Dante has indeed been made a Primaris. And of course, I have made and painted him for my army. Absolutely buzzing to see what 10th edition has to offer if their secret of Dante has accidentally been released by someone in their warehouse. Hope you all enjoy. And of course, everyone is sort of losing their minds over this. In terms of the model, it looks pretty cool. I don't personally collect blood angels. I'm a Black Templar gal myself. But he does look cool. I, I, I am a fan of the Blood Angels vibe. You know the statue has almost Stormcast Eternal kind of vibe. I've always been a fan of Dante's face mask. Looks pretty cool. Got more of a Romanesque vibe, really, than anything in the Ultramarines that can be bought right now. The model posing, though, is a little bit weird. I'm not sure whether or not he is taken off or landing or just in mid-flight, and they kind of had to attach him to something on that base, because, God, they did not want to use a flight stand. And that element kind of worries me a little bit. That tactical rock, he looks a little bit precariously attached to that thing. Little twinkle toes over here. Look at that. Look at that. That is one of those little concerns I always have with these kind of dynamic flying models. They look like they'll be so easy to snap off by accident. And Dante himself has been transformed into a Primaris space marine. It looks like he has crossed the Rubicon. It's definitely a little bit of a <laughs> convenience, I think, for Games Workshop that every single me and character has essentially crossed it unscathed, even though it's meant to have like a very high chance of failure. Whew. They just keep getting lucky, I guess. Good for them. And to be serious for a second, I do think that it's ultimately every single character character is probably going to get across the Rubicon because ultimately these are toys and Games Workshop want to sell the toys and Primaris were always just an excuse to update the Space Marines into a new true scale version. I mean you put together the Primaris Space Marines and you put them beside the new Imperial Guard models and they definitely feel a lot bigger. They feel a lot more true to scale which isn't bad. I actually like that element of the Primaris for sure. So I think that we're going to see all the Blood Angels stuff get updated to Primaris now and that's not necessarily a bad thing in and of itself. And it's likely that almost every single chapter are eventually going to get the Primaris treatment. If the Black Templars can get the Primaris treatment, anybody can get the Primaris treatment. I mean, come on. He also seems to have a little bit of a jump pack. Could this potentially hint at maybe Assault Space Marines coming back? You know, the ones with the big jet pack and the sword? I like those guys. And it'd be interesting to see whether or not they're going to do a Primaris version of those Marines. Because to be frank, I don't think that we have a lot of hope of Firstborn actually making it to 11th edition Warhammer. I think 10th edition is going to be the last time that we actually see the Firstborn still be supported in a big way by Games Workshop. So I'd love to see some of these cool older models transition over into the Primaris lineup, if only just to retain them a little. I haven't really liked what the Primaris have done with jetpacks or anything like that. Assault Space Marines were cool. Hover guys, not so much. And hey, Blood Angels, they love their jump troops, right? Probably. I mean, they like blood. So what gets you towards the blood more? Jetpacks. Get towards blood faster. Something the orcs worked out very long ago. It is pretty wild. I don't think that I've ever encountered this before where Games Workshop have accidentally sent out the wrong models. I don't think that has ever happened before. And though that's big in and of itself, the fact that there are new Blood Angels coming, there's a bigger context to this because it does seem to confirm all of the rumors that we've heard about 10th edition Warhammer. Something that I haven't really been covering on the channel much because I wanted to wait for more official kind of confirmation of that. So far we've seen a little bit of a tease for 10th edition. There is a small teaser trailer where a Terranid is looking at a Terminator and a Space Marine Terminator is looking back at a Terranid. I know some people are hoping that it's going to be Space Hulk, but at this stage, it does seem very likely that this is a new version of Warhammer 40k. And even before these teasers were revealed, or this model was accidentally sent out, the rumors were that we were going to get a new box set for 10th edition that consisted of Blood Angels versus Tyranids. 
And now we're seeing a new Commander Dante model in the wild. Yeah, uh, I think it's pretty certain at this stage that the 10th edition is coming. And for some people, I'm sure that it can't come soon enough. There's so many people who are frustrated with the actual gameplay style of 9th edition. The edition itself is perceived to be pretty bloated. Although, that's it. There's still like two more books, one more book of the Ark of Omens to come out, so... I mean, there's still plenty of stuff in 9th edition, but I guess they're beginning to hype up the game, the new version of it, soon. More than likely at Adepticon, which will be getting released next week. So for those who want to get rid of stratagems, 10th edition might be the answer for you. Rumors have suggested the 10th edition is going to be a little bit more of a simplified version of the Warhammer 9th edition rules. And honestly, yeah, I, I, I could be in favor of that. It just depends on how it's implemented. I'm sure Blood Angel players will be extremely happy. I'm sure there'll be plenty of people who are ordering Commander Dante models now, kind of hoping that the uh, raw model will get sent out to them too. But there is a surprising truth to this model, I think. And <laughs> I don't want to sound cynical here, but I don't think that this model was sent out by accident. I think that this was purposeful. This was not an oopsie, really. I have been speaking to a content creator who has some connections with Games Workshop and inside internal Games Workshop, and they have said to me that the dispatch warehouse for pre-release models is a completely different warehouse from all of the other release models. So there would be a, there would have to be a lot of things in the chain of custody when it comes to this model that had to go wrong in order for this to get into the hands of somebody. So... Yeah, this could actually just be an element of hype making. This could be some guerrilla marketing. Games Workshop have indeed gotten a lot more savvy when it comes to that sort of stuff recently. Think about it for a second. If they had have actually just revealed Commander Dante, then everyone would have been pretty excited. You know, they would have talked about it. But this way, it feels like there's a little bit of goss. There's a little bit of a hot tick, spicy kind of drama element to it. And Games Workshop, they hit, they hit leaks. It'd be a very brave factory worker, I think, who's put this model in this box. I don't think anyone's doing it by accident, unless it was one of the robots. Games Workshop do have robots working in their distribution factory, but even this is a bit of a step. They have they have outsourced these things to robots far too much if this model has gotten in a box by accident. This has worked out in their favor, though. I think that there's going to be a lot more people tuning into the Adepticon reveals, probably getting up early in the UK to watch the Adepticon reveals for next week, because I'm pretty sure that this has all but guaranteed 10th edition announcement then. I mean, let's be honest, content creators online are going to see this. It's going to get out there and they're going to make content about this. Like I guess I am right now. Though it would have been kind of funny if that guy had taken that model and tried to sell it on eBay because I bet that they could have made a lot of cash out there. There are some Blood Angels fans. I have a few friends. One of them, very rabid for Blood Angels. He would have paid a lot of money for this. And then his wife would have left him. He already can't afford normal Warhammer. But hey, maybe you're a big fan of Space Marines too. If so, then watch me build an entire army of them while severely sleep deprived here. And as always, a huge thanks to my patrons, especially Sonic Bread, Crypto Kev, and John Smith. So many thanks to my patrons and people who create content like this. And I'll catch you all next time. Bye bye